Grace comes through great strife. And I believe that. I think that's true. But I also believe that we have to realize um, how we're acting and um, our attitudes towards life. Um, we all need to have sort of a retreat, um, a teepee, if you will. And my teepee, as you all probably know, I'm sure, is my creativity um, going, um, taking myself and putting myself into different projects and just experimenting and um, bringing you all along with me um, as I learn new things. And I just really enjoy learning and trying to do things that, you know, I thought previously that I couldn't do. So today we're going to make butter. Uh, I'm going to bring you along with me. I need to go ahead and get my apron on. Probably pull my hair up too. It would be a good thing. Here we go. We're going to learn this together. Look at all that milk. 12 gallons. And yes, you can see that yucky banana in the bottom, but it's not quite yucky. I'm going to make... Um, banana bread with it, so I'm not throwing it out. We um, sanitize everything, of course. So, normally, I have used this before, so I, and you just put the cream, the top part of the milk, oh, I guess I should show you that. Can you see the top of the milk? You can see that the froth is kind of sitting on top. That's the cream, so the key is to get the milk out of the carton, from the bottom and keep the cream because we're going to use the cream to make butter and then after it's done shaking whatever's left the little bit of milky stuff that's left that's your buttermilk and we keep that too so we have tons of milk and now you want to poke a hole at the bottom with a sterile knife and you're wanting to get all the milk out up until where you see that froth. And you're going to want to stop it just in time. You want to make sure and take the lid off. Otherwise, if the lid's on there, then it will bubble. It's kind of heavy. It's getting lighter. <laughs> it'll bubble up and it'll mix it all back up. And you don't want that. Because you have to let the milk set for a long while to make sure that the cream's all set on top there. Still got a little bit to go. You can tell what's your shadow and what's the milk. I think we're good there. Uh oh. Not hundred percent sure. Okay. So got a little bit to go. I was thinking that was a shadow, but it was the milk. It's kind of heavy. Ooh, I hope it hurries because I'm almost out of room here in my bowl. I think we're there. There we go. Perfect. Wow. I think I poured a little of the cream out. So, there we go. Now, we're going to go over here, and we're going to pour it into our turner. There we go. And just pour it right in. And this is our cream. Now we have to make enough for 200 people. We're going to have a fundraiser out in a field with pretty white tablecloths. Throw out 25 tables with each having seatings of 8. It's going to be beautiful. And we've got two days to do this, so we better get it done quickly. Now on this turner we have a fill line actually. If you can see, it's right here. Or right here, sorry. So we probably can put one more gallon in there. 
So it's going to take a while to do this, as you can see. Shake all that cream out of there. And we're almost to that fill line with that second one. So I'm just going to put it in here. And put the lid on. Let's start stirring. I'm churning. And we just do this. So we do until it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and start filling the electric butter churn now. Oh boy, wow, what a mess. Okay, not good. Okay. Try this again. I'll kind of do it upside down here. And get it in right. That way we can go ahead and start this one and let it run while we're turning the other one over here by hand. Now let it set kind of on its side for a minute and we'll get all the rest of it in there. So I think we're gonna stop there. And I've gone ahead and put this top on because as you can see, the blender piece right here is about halfway into it, so I'm going to start it now. Of course, got to plug it in. And here we go. Okay, we're about 30 minutes in on both. And this one not doing great. <laughs> of course I stopped quite a bit to work on that other one. But, well I guess it's been 30 minutes since I started the other one. So yeah, 30 minutes. And you can see it's kind of getting frothy a little. Well, quite a bit actually. Right in there, you can tell. Oops. I don't know. I'll say maybe another half hour, the other one will be done, and maybe sooner. And this one, I give it about an hour. <laughs> oh no. Yes! Still needs to get a little thicker, I think, but I am so impressed. And look how much it actually made. Quite a bit. And over here, it's still a work in progress, but look how thick it is now. It's getting much thicker. So you can tell in here. Take the lid off here. I need two hands. Oh yeah, look at that. We're almost there on this one too. Yay! I am so tired, as you can see, but we've got butter, yes, get a little spoon here so we can see, stick down in there, oh yeah, look at that, yes, oh my goodness, wow, butter, look at that, wow. Awesome. Yay. Let me stick a little bit up. Take a little bit out and put it in our bowl here. So you can see. We have butter. Yay. Now, we've got the one right over here. As you can see, this one is thickening up also. Still got quite a ways to go. Probably not. Maybe about 10 more minutes. <sighs> but if I take the top off here, let me show it to you. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to need two hands. Here we go. You see? It's pretty thick. 
see if we can get a little, there's this bowl here. But I just put that butter, if you can see it. And then we'll try with this little scoop of this one next to it. You can see the difference. Almost about the same. This one's a little frothier, not quite as thick. But it will be just a few more minutes. Here's our finished product. How thick it is. Oh, well, look at that. We've got butter. Yay! Ta-da! And we're finally to the filling stage here. I got these cute little jars at Walmart for 97 cents. They're just little salt and pepper jars. And then I got some more that I'll show you in a few minutes that I got from Ross. And I got those for $3.99 for, I believe, six. So, got a good deal on all of them. They're so cute. And we're just going ahead and filling them up here. And as you can see, towards the, the buttermilk kind of settles at the bottom. You can see that. So I'm pulling off the top. And I'm using the scoop just to be careful not to get any of that buttermilk. To make sure we get all butter here. So here they are, all filled, and their lids on. And. Here are the other ones I was telling you about. They have a cute little chalkboard area on them so you can write on them. And these do not have lids, so we're gonna put some parchment paper on them and rubber banded on. And of course we're gonna fix them up really pretty. One thing I have found is if you just fill it to this bottom line here, it turns a lot faster and the butter's a lot thicker and it separates a lot better. I and mean, it separates the buttermilk from the butter. And you can see how it's more yellowy. So I'm going to pour it through the strainer. And we're going to have butter and buttermilk. At least that's the plan. Ta-da! There's your butter. And buttermilk. And here you go, you end up with the more of a yellow butter. And this one I added just a tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of sugar. So it's just lightly sweet and salty. It's really good. But it seems to make a lot more if you just make it more of the wit with it filling up higher. This is more condensed and it only filled a few jars. I'll show you what I did here. I just took some of this parchment paper here and I cut it 
in the circles here to fit these just under the size of this so that it won't show. So then you'll take one of these, put it here, take one of these, and put it right over it. And then just kind of mold it down around it. Pretty simple. And I got these little doilies for 30 for $2, I think, at Walmart. And they're just paper. Then you take one of these. And we're going to wrap it around. You just tie it on there. And then we're going to tie a little bow. And ta-da! There we have it. And the raffia string, the twine, was just $1.97. You can see it here at Walmart. All of it was right together in the same section, in the craft section. Even the parchment paper, and it was just $2. So pretty. And then we're going to put our little label. I took a picture of the dairy. I got the milk and a um, picture of the girls and, and made a little collage. So the girls that I work with that are going to be at the Field for Dreams that are volunteering also. And it's going to be so fun. I can't wait now. It's better. It's going. Hey, so here's the finished product. We're at a field for dreams. Is there better? Secondary farm, number seven. How old are they now? Uh, and Peaches. See, I told John, and Julie. Like, I think and myself. Just and there's Courtney. Oh, really?